Take a look at some of the great enhancements with drawings. Firstly we'll do something with dimensions that you probably wouldn't have done in 2010 which is to insert all of the model items in one go. We'll let SOLIDWORKS decide where to place the, uh, which views to place the dimensions into and we'll make sure that it's not using the original placement from the sketch. I think you'll agree that SOLIDWORKS has done a real good job with the placement of those dimensions. If we want to tidy it up further we can box uh, a bunch of dimensions like the ones in this detail view and from the dimension callout we can dynamically adjust the spacing of all of those dimensions from the wheel. We can also do things like adjust the justification of the text to move them all over to the right hand side. It's done a real nice job of jogging these diameter dimensions to uh, tidy up the placement. If we were to mess it up by boxing all of those, and maybe we want to apply a tolerance to all of them, we can see the placement now doesn't look so great. But with a single click of the auto arrange button, everything gets tidied back up again. Now this doesn't just work with um, model items, it works with any dimensions. So if we use the smart dimension command to place a dimension between a couple of these lines, we'll use rapid dimensions to position it and you can see it adjusting the spacing of the dimensions to accommodate that new dimension. If we then went and messed it up, or perhaps this was a, an, old an old drawing where the dimensions uh, placement wasn't tidy, we can just box all of those dimensions and again from a single click tidy up the placement. Another nice enhancement is with the isometric views. A few releases back we introduced the ability to rotate a 2D drawing view but the frustration with this uh, function was that we couldn't just leave the view where it was we had to go back and create a custom view in the part. We can now create the custom view directly by pressing the save or if we don't want to do that we can just hit the tick and it leaves the view where it was. Finally let's look at some changes with the whole table. We'll use the centre of the circle as the datum and just pick a couple of faces uh, with the holes in to create our whole table. The first enhancement that lots of people asked for was the ability to use dual dimensions. So now from a right click I can choose to show dual dimensions in this table. The other nice thing with whole tables is if we were to mess up the, uh, the numbering order by maybe deleting a couple of the rows from the table, so we'll delete a couple of the C's there, maybe we'll go and uh, delete all of the D's. Of course our numbering now looks a mess, it jumps from C2 to C5 and there's no D at all. But from a right click we can now choose to renumber all of the tags so that it now reads properly. And the final enhancement is you may have noticed that some of the lines are blue in this drawing. The reason for that is a new option. Under document properties we can now choose to use the um, colour from the model in the drawing. I can see this being particularly useful on a GA drawing. 